Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5068861. Because of this error code that is error, that is we could not in complete the install because an update service was shutting down. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find, scroll down and then at the bottom somewhere you will find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click on windows update then click on restart now find background intelligent trans transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart Now find app readiness. Here you can see app readiness. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Again, make a right click on app readiness, then click on restart. Now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update, and then over here you can see pause update option. Hit pause over here. And once pause, resume the updates and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it on the same window. And once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can update. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the, name of the update that is KB5068861. And then search this update over here. And then check your Windows version. So type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box. And then click on Win, WinWare Run command. Over here, you can see version 25H2. In my case, it's version 25H2. And then open Windows settings, go to system, and then scroll down, go to about option. Over here, you will see the system type. In my case, it's 64-bit operating system. Now, for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 for x64 base system. This is the right one for me. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So download and once the download is now, once you click on it, you will see this update KB5068861. Click on it and then let download complete. Once the download is com complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update, Advanced option. Scroll down, Recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once done, restart your computer and then update your Windows 11. Still not working? Use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here. You can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Now. And then you can run this exe file. Yeah, run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, click on accept over here and then click on by default Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. Once done, click on finish and let this close automatically. It will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Once closed, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. Make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow, click on next, click on accept. Here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So hit install after the installation, log into the computer and then you can check. 
So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.